In this video, we're going to review the process for editing any templates that you might have created that have ICD-9 codes in them. As you know, on October 1st, we have to switch to ICD-10 codes. So if you use a template after this date and it still has ICD-9 codes, you will pull the wrong codes into your note, which will result in the wrong codes being submitted for claims and the claims will be delayed or rejected. To do so, we're going to go to the File menu and down to Templates. This should bring the list up of all the templates in your system. I'm logged on as administrator so I can see other private templates as well. Depending on your permission settings, you may or may not see other people's uh, templates. In this case, I'm going to edit the public note for urinary tract infections. I highlight it and I click View. What this does is it opens the actual template itself up in a fake test patient that is designed by eClinical Works specifically for editing of templates. The process we're going to go over here is also the same process that you would use to edit any of your templates. So if you have a particular template where you want to add some different phrasing or different diagnosis or different procedure code, this is the same way you do it. In this case, the only thing I want to change is the diagnosis. So I'm going to scroll down to assessment. You can see right now I have UTI 599.0, which is a pretty common UTI code we've used for many years, but now I need to change it to the ICD-10 code. To do so, I'm going to search for the new assessment, just like searching for any assessment. And notice I need to click the Use ICD-10 box. When I click Go, it brings up a list. You can see the 599.0. Here's the recommended code for ICD-10. Notice that it's blue. I would recommend checking that so you can get the most specific diagnosis rather than an unspecified diagnosis which might get denied sometime in the future. You click the blue link and a new window opens which lets you select the appropriate ICD-10 code. In this case this is a straightforward UTI note so I'm going to pick acute cystitis. Now I'm left with a decision here whether this has blood in the urine or not. For my default, I'm going to choose that it does not have blood in the urine, so I'm going to click without hematuria. That leaves me this code, N30.00. I click on it, and now it's added. However, you can see that I now have both codes. Since this is going to be an ICD-10 compliant template, I need to take out the ICD-9 code. I can click it, remove, and confirm it, and it's now gone. Now, the one other thing is this note has some discussion about the urinary tract infection and now it's not associated with the new ICD-10 code here. So I need to go into the treatment window and I'm going to click over to others and I will find my recommendations that I usually have there. I'm simply going to drag over the whole thing. I'm going to cut it with Control x now I'm going to go to cystitis and I'm going to paste it and now you can see it is correctly associated with acute cystitis without hematuria, my new ICD-10 code. The final point is if you have billing in, the billing needs to be associated correctly. So I'm going to click on the visit code and it's going to bring up, you can see right now it's still linked to the 599.0 code which is wrong. I'm going to remove that and now when I re-add it you can see it has the new ICD-10 code. This template is now ready to go and should be fully ICD-10 compliant. This is probably the easiest way to update your templates and make them compliant with ICD-10 and I would recommend that you do so because of at the time of this recording there are about four days till ICD-10 gets here. Thank you.